Hi everyone, I'm Robert Martin, Senior Program Manager at Pendo, and today we're going to be talking about how we can use advanced roadmaps in JIRA to um, guide cross-functional coordination across your organization. Quick agenda, we're going to be doing a quick introduction, setting the stage, giving you some context as to what's going on. We're going to provide some clarity and define the problem that we're trying to solve, and then we'll jump into advanced roadmaps and build out a solution. All right, quick intro. Uh, I've been working at Pendo for a little over two years. If you're not familiar with Pendo, we build software that helps you make your software better. So we build customer engagement tools. Uh, we provide analytics that allow you to see how customers are using your product and features. We provide means for customers to provide you with feedback, both quantitative and qualitative, that you can combine to see how customers feel about your products. And we also provide uh, guides. So you can provide contextual, individualized uh, guidance to your customers. When I started at Pendo, I was working as a Scrum Master. I've worked with a myriad of different teams from feature development teams, platform, and security teams. Recently, I moved into a pro uh, program manager role where we're more focused on the full value delivery life cycle. So ideation all the way through to customer value realization uh, and less so just on the, the singular um, cross-functional engineering team as we're familiar with it. Okay, so to provide a little context as to what was going on, we uh, were kind of a classic startup. We've got a lot of dev teams pumping out work into production, which is exactly what we're looking for. We have a growing number of dev teams and we're experiencing some of the communication issues that comes with an expanding organization. Uh, as you all know, merging code into master is awesome, but it doesn't guarantee a great customer experience with new features and new products. So we've got a lot of other people supporting that work. We've got uh, product marketing and sales, making sure that people are aware that there's customers in the pipeline to realize the value of the work the engineering department's been doing. Um, in our case, we created a product operations department to help with collecting and analyzing the value delivery, making sure that customers are getting the intended value out of our new products. Um, product operations department does a lot of stuff, but that's what we're going to be focusing on for our use case today. All right, defining the problem. Um, so we've expanded. We've got a lot of dev teams. We've organized these teams into programs that work on similar feature sets. And we might have, in this case, maybe one prod ops person working across all of our teams. Uh, and as we all know, forecasting engineering work is extremely challenging. Uh, we have scope changes and forecast changes that are happening constantly. And uh, with one person maybe supporting an entire program, there is a lot of changes to keep up to date. So we want to provide transparency from the engineering, from our R&D teams to whoever it is that's supporting that go-to-market activities and supporting our customers. Uh, as a bonus, we don't just want one-way transparency from engineering to product operations. We'd love to provide some transparency bi-directionally and uh, give some insight to the development team, to the R&D teams as to what product operations is doing to support the customers and their work as well. Okay, so product operations, relatively new group. So one thing that we wanted to do is provide them a way to track their work across their team. So we created a product operations project in JIRA. Uh, we also have our development uh, Acme app. So that is for our product that our product teams are working on. So let's go ahead and create a plan. And we're gonna choose sources for the plan. And we're gonna use the uh, team's boards uh, as our sources. So we actually have, uh, excuse me, five teams for this example in this program. And it'll become clear why we use the board here just in second, just in a second, instead of a filter or a project. Okay, and let's call this our program plan. And it is pulling all of our data in. Okay, so this gives us something, uh, we can kind of see what works ongoing, what work is done. Uh, there's still a lot of context missing. This looks really daunting for a non-engineering uh, team, especially coming in new, trying to make sense of this. So let's do a few things to clean this up. Uh, one thing, this is personal preference. Um, this due date right now by default will uh, dictate where our graphics end on our roadmap. And I really like to change that if we go into our scheduling settings here to target end. Um, I feel like that just kind of communicates to teams that this is a date that could potentially change. Um, so I like using that over due date. So let's grab a target end and throw that in and set these next to each other. Uh, great, so we've got target end. 
I've got some data already in there on the target end. So this is looking a little bit better. Still looks really daunting and confusing. So another thing that I like to do, a uh, good technique is to group this by team. Uh, and one thing that that does for us is it pulls in the sprints for each of these teams. And that's another reason that we use set our source as the board because these sprints are tied to the board in JIRA. So um, that allows us to display these sprints. And if you expand our feature epics, uh, as you move uh, cards in between sprints, that will show on our roadmap. So it's e really easy to track progress. Not gonna get into forecasting, but you can use this to do some back of the napkin math and double check your forecasts and just kind of do a sanity check. So this is looking good. Prod Ops now can focus on one team at a time. If they have a question, they know what team to go to uh, in our program. One other really cool tool that I love to use in advanced roadmaps is a progress bar. Uh, again, technique only. I love to use the issue count on this, but it allows people to see at a glance how a feature is coming along. So Prod Ops can come in and hover over this and see how many issues are done how many issues are, are in progress and upcoming. So closer that's getting to the end, the closer we are to finishing out that epic. Uh, great, so we've, we're providing a lot of context to the product operations team. Um, now that they could go back into their own JIRA project, create their tasks that they're gonna do for each of these uh, feature releases, uh, but it, it's kind of a problem because if we have if we have a lot of tasks associated with each with each of these features and you're trying to get a glance at what has been done and what hasn't been done for each of the releases, it's kind of difficult. Or if your prod ops person has to go on vacation, how does the next person come in, uh, see exactly what the highest priority items are? So what we can do is if we go back to our settings and issue sources, if we pull in the board from our product operations project. This will allow the product ops person when they're coming in and reviewing and seeing where everything is at, they can add their tasks directly to an Epic. So Epic 5 here, it's nearing completion. It's in the last sprint, last cards in progress. We're getting, getting ready to release this. So our product ops person can come in, create a task under the Epic, set it to the product operations project. Uh, and they go into the Epic, they see what the feature is, and they come up with a plan of tasks that they need to do. Maybe for this one, I'm going to set up a Pendo uh, adoption analytics dashboard. So they want to see what type, type of customers are using it, how often they're using it, um, how it's affecting reten customer retention, things like that. So let's put in a new one. Again, for product operations. Set up customer feedback for the new feature. And finally, let's set up a guide for new customers so we can point people towards the feature and just give them a brief overview of how to use it. Uh, as always in the plan, things don't get saved to JIRA until you confirm them. So let's save this. and let it think for a sec. Once this is done, now we have all of the product operations tasks inside of the Epic. So the product ops person can come in and see, hey, I need to do all three of these, or maybe a couple of them have been completed and there's one left, or if they're out sick, somebody's filling in, they can come in and see what the most pressing work uh, for the product ops is. Not only that, but the dev team can also come into the Epic and see what the product ops people are doing. Um, they maybe scope changes on a feature and the timeline gets moved up and they see that none of the prod ops tasks have been started yet. They can engage with that prod ops person and make sure that they're going to be ready for the, for the new release date and have some of those crucial conversations. We can go even a step further. Uh, the engineers can go in and see some of the analytics. It provides some additional uh, insight into how the customers are using the product. So if our product is, say, Acme, CRM, and we uh, the products had set up feedback, Pendo feedback, and we have customers making suggestions. Uh, they can provide that link in the card to the engineering team to come in and check out, hey, what kind of features are people requesting? What is getting a lot of likes? Um, the product management team for R&D can come in 
Uh, and let's say a new feature idea is getting a ton of votes. So we plan it. Uh, you can create a JIRA item directly from the feedback in Pendo, put that back into the Acme app. And as our development teams work on that, it's going to update feedback. So the customer then can see that, hey, this has been planned, this is in construction, and when that feature requested feature has been delivered. Okay, so now we've tied everything together. The R&D teams have insight into what the ProtOps team is doing. The ProtOps team has insight into what R&D is doing. R&D can go and look at what the customers are doing. The customers can see what R&D is doing. We've come full circle with our feedback. Uh, everybody has some great awareness, um, a lot of good learnings to be garnered uh, to make the next feature set that the team's working on even more valuable to the customer. There are a lot of different ways that you could set this up in advanced roadmaps. Uh, we tend to work by epics, but you could do it by releases as well. And you can customize a lot of the fields that are shown to provide the right context to the right people. So hopefully this uh, helps you out and appreciate you tuning in. Thank you.